friends welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new my name is Ashley and today I have some cleaning motivation for you I'm starting off in the master bedroom I've really been trying to stay on top of our master bedroom and keeping it clean and dusted so I'm going to start off by dusting our entertainment center that we have in there that keeps our TV and everything so I'm going to go ahead and dust that area and wipe it down really good give it a really good cleaning I'm using the method wood cleaner which I love it smells so good it's like one of my favorite cleaners cleaners to use around my house especially on all of our wood. I get all of my cleaning products from Grove so I'll leave the link down below in our description for you to check it out. I love it. It's so convenient to order from them. Do everything from your phone or on a laptop or a computer and it's all shipped to your house on your front door and it's perfect. So I am struggling right here trying to fold up this chair of riders. As you guys can tell, it took me a little bit, but I finally figured it out. Once I took care of that, I moved over to all the clutter on the dresser. I'm just going to take care of all of that, put everything away where it belongs, and hopefully keep our dresser clutter free. But like always, that's just an area that clutters up in our bedroom, mainly because of me. I just put everything there and I leave it. So that's something that I definitely need to work on. But once I take care of all this clutter and get the dresser clutter free, I'm going to go ahead and dust it, wipe it down using the method wood cleaner as well as all the other surfaces in our bedroom. I will dust our nightstands and also use the method wood cleaner on them as well. And then I'm going to move on to Ryder's room, pick up all of his toys because like always his room is a complete disaster. He throws his toys everywhere. So I'm going to move in there and take care of all of his toys, put them all away where they belong, and then I'm going to vacuum the upstairs. So if you have a to-do list today that you want to tackle, I hope I give you that motivation to get up, get moving, and start checking off that to-do list. Or maybe if you don't have a to-do list, but you have something small around your house that you would like to accomplish today, I hope that I give you that motivation to get it done as well. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby.
So now I'm in the master bedroom and I'm just going to vacuum our floors. I'm vacuuming the hallway upstairs as well as Ryder's room and the older boy's room. I'm not going to vacuum Madison's room. I'm saving that for a different day because there's a few other things in there that I want to do and I did not have time to accomplish that today so I did not want to start in her room until I have time to get everything done. So you're just going to see me vacuum those areas upstairs and once I'm done doing all that I'm actually going to be done for this day and I'll start over on the next day. Day, you'll see me in the kitchen and I'm going to be cleaning out our refrigerator because it was nasty and definitely needed some attention. So that's what I'll be doing next but right now I'd like to take a minute just to reintroduce myself in case you're new to our channel or this is your first time ever clicking on one of our videos and tell you a little bit more about myself and my family. Like I said earlier, my name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom to four beautiful children ages ranging from 13 all the way down to 2. I married my high school sweetheart, Nick, and we've been married for 14 years. And we have, like I said, four beautiful children. Our oldest is named Madison. She's our only girl. She just recently turned 13 and she's in seventh grade. She's a competitive dancer and she also does tumbling. Our oldest son is named Jacob. He's in sixth grade. He's 11 years old. He plays baseball and basketball. And then we have Jeremiah, who's in fifth grade. He is 10 years old and he also plays baseball and basketball too. And then our youngest is named Ryder. He just recently turned two in July. He is a mama's boy. He loves playing outside and he is just all over the place all the time. We also have two dogs named Holly and Bo and they are golden doodles and together we are the Swanson crew. On our channel you can find tons of cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, as well as decluttering and organizing. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you have not already hit that red subscribe button then please Please do so. We would love to have you a part of our family here and on this journey with us. So now that I'm done vacuuming the upstairs, that's everything that I picked up and just the areas that I vacuumed. So our floors definitely needed to be cleaned. I'm glad I took the time to go ahead and take care of them on this day. So now this is the next day and I'm going to go ahead and show you what our refrigerator looks like. And then I'm going to take everything out, give it a really good cleaning and then reorganize it as well as declutter it and get rid of a few items that were old, expired, or we didn't need anymore. <laughs>
text signed XO My ace boom boom no flex no I won't gas you up like Petro Just trying to take you way up with a jet go But you didn't notice that Keep clocking all my hours I told you that Work now play later But you keep going off on me Keep texting like it's all on me Yeah you're all in my head like You're my forever not for right now My day one you hold me down Hard cold like the winter time Fight for your love, can't slow me down Don't go far I take me and you over living large Know I'll be there wherever you are Cause you shine bright like You shine bright like a shoeless star So once I get through wiping down the refrigerator, giving it a really good cleaning, decluttering it some, reorganizing it a little bit, getting rid of all the items that we're not using anymore or the items that are expired, I'm going to share a crock pot recipe with you. A few of my friends are doing crocktober and I thought that that's something that you might enjoy as well. So I decided to go ahead and add a crock pot recipe in to one of my videos each week. And this is the first video that I'm posting in October. So I decided to go ahead and add it to the end of this video. So if that's something that you are interested in and something that you would enjoy me doing, please let me know and I'll definitely add a crock pot recipe in each week to one of our videos. That way you can get a new recipe for your family and hopefully your family can enjoy it just as much as we do. So I'm sure you've seen my little helper helping me clean the refrigerator. Like I always say, he is nearby all the time. He loves helping me no matter what the chore might be. And today his way of helping me was by closing and shutting the refrigerator doors and drawers, making sure I did not leave them open for too long. So he would always go behind me and shut them or either open them. And yeah, that was his way of helping me today. He is always near me, constantly helping me no matter what the chore might be. And I love that. And I definitely left this part in because Ryder grabbed a drink, ran and gave it to Nick and wanted it. And Nick popped down to say hi. So I had to leave that in because I thought it was really funny. But now I'm just going to continue cleaning out the refrigerator and getting it all cleaned, organized, and decluttered. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away, this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts So now that I have the refrigerator cleaned, decluttered, and organized, I'm going to share the crock pot recipe with you. These are the items you will need if you decide to make this meal. You'll need a 15 ounce bag of cheese tortellini, 3 cans of tomato soup, and each can is 10.75 ounces, 2 8 ounce chive and onion cream cheese, as well as 4 cups of chicken broth which is 32 ounces, and a pound of ground beef. 
I actually got this recipe from another YouTuber named Emily Jackson. I'll leave the link to her channel down below in our description in case you've never heard of her. She's amazing. She has amazing content and I just love her so much. So definitely check her out if you've never heard of her before. But she used um, sausage instead of ground beef and you could definitely do that or use a different kind of meat. We just didn't have sausage on hand when we first made this meal and I used ground beef and that's just the way we like it. So I continue using ground beef. I might try it with sausage another time but like I said you can try it with sausage, ground beef or maybe even a different type of meat if you prefer. So the first thing you need to do is add the chicken broth and the cans of tomato soup. Let it simmer together on low most of the day. And then I add the cream cheese about three hours before we want to eat. That way it gives it time to melt and the soup to get creamy. I cook the ground beef and add it to the soup as well as the cheese tortellini about an hour before we would like to eat. And then that's it. It is a super easy and very yummy meal. Everyone but Madison likes it in our house, but I will say Madison's never tried it. She is not much of a ground beef eater, so that's why. But that is the crock pot meal that I wanted to share with you. We love this meal. It's easy to cook. It's so good. Plus, it's very filling meal, which is very nice. I just like to add like a breadstick with it, maybe like a side salad, and that's it. Also, it's a very cheap meal, which is very nice too, and it makes a good amount of food. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, and I hope I was able to give you a little bit of motivation to get up and tackle something on your to-do list today. If you enjoyed having the crock pot recipe at the end of the video, please let me know so I can continue doing that for the month of October. Also, don't forget to like this video. It really does help our channel out. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, then please consider hitting that red subscribe button if you haven't already. We would love to have you a part of our family here and on this journey with us. If you're already a part of our family, we just want to say thank you so much. We truly appreciate each and every one of you, and you all mean so much to us. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love getting to know a little bit more about yourself, your family, and where you're from, so definitely leave a comment down below. I just want to say a huge thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. It really does mean so much. Don't forget to come back Thursday for some laundry motivation and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye friends. Mm -hmm. Every time we touch, I feel